I'm going to explain to you regulated transcription controlled by oxygen in HIF-1-alpha. We all have cells, like this little red one here, and our cells live happily under a number of different conditions. The trouble comes up when cells face conditions that are not quite normal. If they can't change in response to these conditions, then they die. Imagine being left out alone in the desert. You don't really like that, do you, guy? However, if the right changes are made, the cell can adapt to survive in these stressful environments. Cells often grow where there is an excess of extracellular oxygen. This is called normoxia. Hypoxia, an environment where there is little or no extracellular oxygen, can kill cells. How do some cells change so that they can deal with the lack of oxygen? Let's take a look. Here, inside the cell, you can see the nucleus. Transcribed genes come out of the nucleus in the form of mRNA. This mRNA is then translated into protein. Under certain conditions, the expression of genes changes. This results in different proteins that allow the cell to do different things and survive in different environments. Here, you can see the nucleus, the DNA inside the nucleus, and some proteins. One of the proteins is HIF-1-alpha. Under normal conditions, normoxia, when there's plenty of oxygen around, HIF-1-alpha is altered by another protein, flagged you might say. These flags, hydroxylations, allow for HIF-1-alpha to be recognized by a degradation system in the cell. When no oxygen is present, no hydroxylation occurs, so there's no flag, and HIF-1-alpha is not degraded. As HIF-1 is not degraded, it can then bind to another protein, ARNT. Once these two proteins are together, they can enter the nucleus. Here, they recognize genes in the DNA that are important to the cellular response to low oxygen levels. These proteins then bind to the DNA and allow for transcription machinery to assemble. This results in the transcription of new genes. These genes are turned into new proteins, and these new proteins allow for the cells to survive without oxygen. These changes in transcription are what allow the cell to survive under multiple conditions. 